everyone, it's Dot, and today's been a crazy day. I've just been rushing all over the place, and my physical therapy ended up being a lot longer than anticipated, so I was stuck in traffic. I ended up just going to the grocery store, and rather than getting a prepared meal, I picked up some cod. And the dish I'm gonna make is gonna take roughly 15, 20, 25 minutes from preparation all the way to your dinner plate. Trust me, this is awesome. I'm gonna prepare these tin packets, these foils, because we're gonna make basically a foil packet to put the cod in. And all you're gonna do is take a little bit of olive oil. You want your tin foil to be shiny side up. And all I'm gonna do is put some, do that. Clean hands, you always want clean hands, and I'm just gonna rub it where the cod's gonna go at. Before I put my cod down, I've got some sprigs of thyme. If you don't have sprigs of thyme, don't worry about it. You can also just go ahead and use um, regular seasoning, but you just apply that to the cod directly. So I'm gonna put a few of these on the bottom. I'm then gonna put my cod right on top. Yay. What I'm gonna do next is use some salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna salt my cod. And I'm also just gonna salt around here. And there's a reason I'm salting around the sides of the cod too, while not directly on the cod, and you'll see why at the end. Next thing I'm gonna add is some minced garlic. Now, shallots. And all you're gonna do is again, take your oily hands and you're just gonna rub that on the cod and spread it around. Next up, Thin pieces of lemon, just two you need on your cod, and then the rest whizzes a sprig. Next thing you're gonna do is seal up your packet, your tin foil packet. So all you're gonna do is take it, you wanna make sure when you cut these, they're at least, at minimum, half an inch or two inches longer than the cod is itself on either side. I'm a little bit longer here, but that's okay. I'm just folding it here at the top and then I'm gonna basically fold it up on the sides and seal it. You do want a complete seal. There, the first packet is done. I'm gonna finish up the rest of the cod. Cods are all wrapped. They're going into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes. The fish is done. Time to open up the packet. Okay, I'm hijacking this video. I'm John, Dot's husband, and I'm the real fish lover in this family. I mean, I go fishing without a fishing rod. I'll just jump in the water and just bite it out of the water. I'm gonna taste this fish, and I'll tell you if it's really good. All right, just opening it up using my skills learned after many years of fishing for tinfoil. All right, look at that. It's all, look at that water. So the water, it's, uh, we expected that. That's why we put the salt along the sides. It actually draws out the water. But what you're gonna see is you're not gonna see mushy fish. So I'm gonna take this away. So now I want you to watch this. Look at this. Look at the flakes. Okay, you see the flakes? I see the flakes. I'm gonna eat those flakes. All right, let's get a taste test. That's a real big piece because I'm really hungry. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. My wife can cook some fish. She can cook a lot of things, but she's doing good on the fish. And I'm gonna have a little bit more. Look at that, it's a big, another big flake. Mmm, 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 mmm. Can I say, a lemony, thymey, is that a word? Definitely juicy, and it is not mushy. Don't let that water fool you. That water is not in the fish. It's on the outside of the fish, where you want it. Fish like that too, that's why they swim in it all the time. All right, so there you go. Um, what does she say? Share with your friends, hit that little button thing. Uh, like, hit the like button, and uh, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you later.